I know you want to know if I like this song, so I'll let you know very soon. But first, to get early access and uncut videos of the things we upload, join our Patreon. The links are in the descriptions. Hmm. And if this video gets a thousand likes or more, I'll react to another reaction on this artist immediately. And the cat to be saved too. <laughs> Just kidding about the cat part. I'm really happy that you came. Like this is a special reaction and I'm pretty excited. Um, you can't tell maybe, but only, well, I'm excited. So I want you to listen to all of this, what I'm about to say, because this is unique to me. Um, normally, like 99.9% .9 of the time, I hate when YouTube just randomly throws something on my newsfeed, something that I didn't even ask for. But this is the first time, and I mean this with all sincerity, the first time they've done that, and I'm happy that they did. So I open up my YouTube like I normally do, and I see this creepy but really high quality, like 4K dynamic face looking at me. And so happens, I love creepy and I love things that look odd and stuff like that. So that drew my attention, first glance. I'm like, what the hell is this? So I click on it. And it said DPR Ian. I think the name of the song was Saint or Saints. Um, so initially the facial, if I mean if you go there and look like when you first look at it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It just captured you. So I didn't know who that was. I still don't know. Well, I didn't know who that was at the time. I didn't watch the video because you know, since this is a reaction channel, if I decided to react to that song, I didn't want to already hear it. But what I did after that was something I also don't normally do. I went right to the comments to see who is this person who has this cool, creepy character. And I'm reading some of the comments, and he has like a really large fan base. And one of the things that captured me the most is someone said to the reactor, um, they said something about most reactors need to know about e DPR Ian before they react to the songs. Um, and they said, you should check out such and such an interview. So I did just that. I don't know what compelled me to do that because normally I don't get all this intrigued by somebody. I have no clue who they are. But I did just that. I went to the interview and the interview that I watched was from Zach Sang show. So shout out to Zach Sang. I'll put his links in the descriptions. And it's a 53 minute interview. So the next thing I did that I've never done before. I watched all 53 minutes because it was very compelling and I learned so much about DPR Ian or his real name is Christian Yu. Um, but not only did I liked him, DPR, I loved his humility. I loved his tonality. I loved him being so open to talk about his personal life and his um, trajectory through his uh, musical and, and non-musical career. But then I also like the uh, interviewer, Zach. He, he sounded and he said, and also that he actually listens. He doesn't just try to find artists and talk to them and you know maybe just run through a bunch of questions he might have randomly wrote down. It felt comfortable and it felt like they both were there for a purpose and they cared about each other's thoughts and what they were thinking. That compelled me. So I watched the entire interview. Still don't know with DPR Ian sounds like. So I've never done that before. Usually I react to somebody for the first time and I like them and I react more. And then I like their music so much I want to know more about them. So then I watch an interview of them. I've never done vice versa. So now I'm kind of like, I'm excited, nervous. I'm excited because I've learned so much about DPR Ian and I respect him um, as a human being and stuff. But I'm nervous because I haven't heard his music yet. And wouldn't that be horrendous if I didn't like his music? I mean, it can happen. Um, so I'm hoping that's not the case. But we'll see because this channel prides on being real and authentic. So fingers crossed. So what I did is some other comments had said, like, you should start from the beginning of his work. So I believe I did a little research. I hope I'm right. I believe his first works is from his album Mido, which is um, Mood Swings in This Order. 
And the first two songs, one is called, the first one's called Mito. The next one is called So Beautiful. Since it says Mito is like a minute 40 seconds, I'm going to do both in this reaction. So I'm going to do Mito and I'm going to go into So Beautiful. I normally don't do two songs on one reaction, but a minute and 30 seconds, maybe that's just like an introduction, like a, what's they call it? A, a prelog or whatever it is, preface. So we'll see. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. So before I press re, uh, record in a moment and watch this for the first time, please make sure that you support these musicians. This channel prides also on music appreciation. I'll have the links of DPR Ian in there. Looks like he has a lot of channels. So this first song, M Mito says it comes from DPR Topic, which I think that's normally what a company puts as the YouTube channel. But then the next song, So Beautiful, which is from the same album, looks like it's under dpr egan, egan or what dpr stands for which i forget off the top of my head but you know what i mean so anyway i'll put all those links in the descriptions please support the musicians like and comment subscribe if you're able to go a step further and purchase their music then please do so i hope you've watched this so far i normally don't talk this much before the song but this is like a reaction channel kind of podcast intertwining and I think this is a special, special one because of the way he popped into my brain, into my life now. So without further ado, let's start with Mito. Here we go. Okay. Before I change again. Okay, I'm excited, and it's it's and almost like a little relief because, like I said, I've never saw an interview first and then heard a song. Um, so I was praying I liked it, and I did. So I'm gonna call it like the preface of the album because again, it was like a minute and thirty seconds, and he only had like one lyrical area. Um, but. I know from watching the interview, because, you know, I did what the person said in that comment as I watched and listened to the entire interview. So um, I know how he said, like, at puberty, he had this this moment where he just started crying or whatever in school and everything like that. And he said it happened again and again and again and again. And then he finally was diagnosed with bi bipolar disorder, um, or I think it might be called bipolarity. Um, so... He was told by his therapist, he had said, is to channel that creatively. And coincidentally, he says that he has a huge imagination and he loves to imagine. So creatively, he's able to let out his bipolarism into song. Oh, that must be a fantastic, which I call our subscribers. He must be letting it out into song. And then he also explained that... Um, and what I've learned is that so Mito is like the altar of when he's at his low state of um, mind state, 
his low, his, you know, you have highs and lows. So this is like at his lows. So keeping that in my brain and then like seeing like the intro there, that was, that was a lyrical, not a lyrical video. That was an audio video. Seeing like the shattered broken glass, like made me think of like, you know, you're shattered, you're altered. You're not at the, um, you know, you're not the norm. That's how I took it as that shattered glass of his face right there on the song. Um, and then from the little part that he had said, he's like, you know, don't want to be alone. So I can only take that as um, what it sounds like. You just don't want to be alone. Like you want to. We already know that he's pushing through everything because he, he said that in the interview. Plus, he has a lot of music out there. And this is his way of channeling, as I had mentioned to the song. So it's not a lot, a lot to go on lyrically because they didn't say much, but hearing the sounds, the intricacies of the of the music um, and the tonality of his voice when I heard it, it just sounded like, um, like and like the actual fracture as I saw, it sounded fractured. I guess that's the best way I can put it. It's hard to, to grasp a lot necessarily from like a minute and a half, but this is just the beginning. That's the beauty of it. Um, but I'm happy. I love that minute and a half because I was nervous. So now the nervousness is over. I'm, I want to know more about him. So it's good that we're going into this song, next song. So beautiful. So let's get into it. Let's get into so beautiful. Remind me of the time when I still remembered. I feel a comment. Okay, a video video. My love is dropping, calling my heart is 
Okay. Wow, 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 wow. This is going to be an interesting journey, people. Um, that was action packs, and that was that was a lot to receive in a good way because the first song Mito was an audio, and then I was just expecting another audio, and it jumped into an actual video. And boy, did it jump into a video. What I'm loving already, well, even more so, I already started loving the guy as a human being in the interview that I saw first, as I mentioned, but now actually seeing him in action, I love how he did just that. He's channeled his condition into his music. I mean, so many things in this particular song, so beautiful, made me think of the complexities of his bipolarism. Um, like the visuals, the mood of the lights, like it was, it was black and white, and then it was flickering, colorized, and stuff like that. Um, and then there was the him floating around in the middle of the living room and stuff like that. Like the the they cake the the chaos of it all would make sense to how he was feeling. I'm, I'm loving that he is channeling that because sometimes when you have some unbridled situation going on you need to release it i mean not everybody in in the world is able to release it into music uh, but hopefully they release it into something whether they go to a gym or whether they become a a boxer i don't know do you know what i'm saying but just some way to to release it out it also is healing and therapeutic because uh dpr ian is not the only one in the world that's going through this that that's part of their dna now so it's helpful i I know to other people who have, who can relate to that more so. Now, you don't have to be someone with bipolarism. And I think it also said, or he said somewhere, or someone said that he also has DID, dis, uh, dissociative identity disorder. I believe that also. But you don't have to have that to fully appreciate and respect. Like, I don't have either one of those conditions, but. I'm human and I have a heart and I can understand that if you have any type of something that makes you feel a certain way or act a certain way, or he mentioned in the interview that sometimes he has blackouts or sometimes, or how he says in his interview, if, if he wrote a song while he's in his low state, then down the road, if he's in a different state, he can't feel the, the full effect of how that song was because when he did that song he was in that different state and that was just really interesting he's like he remembers it all and stuff like that and he knows what he what he did and what he wrote but he can't fully like have the full feelings and i can understand that so it's something to learn like that was a really a learning experience for that because this is this is pretty much new to me this song was kind of combining the two so this song was about the complexity of love, like it sounds like he has a love interest and he has these feelings for them, but he doesn't know how to handle it. It's unbridled. It's just unhinged. It's uncertain. And that can correlate to him as an individual. So I like the chaos that that exuded within the video. I also learned also in the, I think it was the interview as well, that he does it all. He writes the music, he uh, composes the music, he directs it, he edits his own videos. Um, I mean, he said DPR, the name of the company is a team. So I think I think it's him and one other person or maybe two, So, but he does the most of it. So the fact that if he did this in that entire video, like that was just a lot of intricacies. And even the part, tell me what this part means because I'm not quite sure and I don't want to guess. Like he has, he had the missing eye, but the eye was on his hand. So I don't know exactly what that means. I mean, unless that's just part of the um, the not normal um, or the or does that mean that you're always you see everything or whatever? Because I don't know what that means. So let me know. I don't want to guess on that part. But I love how the song is about love, but it's about that uncertain love. And you're not sure what to say or how to say it. There's complexities. And that's in real life. We can all relate to that. Love isn't just smooth sailing like, oh, I'm in love with you. Oh, I'm in love with you too. And everything's wonderful and great. Sometimes there's complexities. Or sometimes you feel something for somebody, but you don't know how to tell them. And you have all this stuff going on in your head, and it's all chaotic. 
Now, at that end, I'm going to assume that that was an Easter egg at the end that he grabbed a gun. So I don't know because I'm just starting out in the world of DPR Ian. So maybe the next song will kind of bring that in there. I don't want to guess. So, all right, this is a lot to swallow in a lot, but I hope that you watch all of this. Our reaction videos aren't normally this long, but I'll find out if you've watched it up to this point. Say I watched it up to this point in the comments, and then I'll have super duper respect for you. Um, so yeah, but um, I'm taking a chance. This reaction channel reacts to everybody, whether you're a high caliber artist or whether you're an underrated artist. If you watch our playlist, we do it all, all from both ends and in between. Um, we try to we listen and try to understand the musicians and we want to support the musicians. So that's what this channel is. If you like that, you're on board with us. If you don't like that and you say, oh, this video is too long, then you weren't meant to come to Taz and Philly. And that's just fine. Deuces. So anyway, this comes part of our show. We always do our thumbs up, pass if we like a song, thumbs down, ask if we don't like a song. Come on now. So to both of them, Mito and So Beautiful, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. DPR, Ian, I know you, you go by different names because you use different characters and for different stages of your life. I wish you continuous success um, musically, spiritually, mentally, physically. You're an all-around amazing human being and a musician, and I wish you the best. And thank you for touching us. You've touched me in so, so little time, so I thank you for that. Anyway, this is Taz with Taz and Philly. Please let us know in the comments if you like these songs, what these songs mean to you, what D, uh, DPR Ian means to you, and hope that you like the reaction itself. So I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>